you guys, there has literally been an assassination attempt on Trump just a few minutes ago. They had to whisk him off stage. And I believe from what I've been informed of is that there were 13 shots fired and he was grazed in the ear but he is okay and this is just crazy <laughs> it's so insane everything that's transpiring so much is going on this month which i have been saying that this month and the next three months are going to be pretty much insane we already have uh we had the fourth of july which was super prophetic and the lord had so much to say concerning that the lord is taking what um what what is evil what is wicked what is vind vindictive <laughs> Um, what the powers that be, the secret societies, uh, what they have infiltrated this nation with, and he is overturning it, and he is going to salvage what uh, what is good within the foundation of this nation, and he's bringing exposure, and that was the message that was very important to the Lord that that be put out on July 4th. And then we had Hurricane Barrel come through on Monday of this week. Thanks be to God that my household, we are safe. We only went a little over a day without um, power. But honestly, we enjoyed the family time together. I was able to go to my dad's and enjoy the pool. He has a really nice house. So we were, it was like we were at a day resort for the day. So the Lord has just continued to be faithful throughout, um, throughout everything that's going on. And unfortunately, there's still so many here in Houston without power. Um, but again, I'm thankful to God that we did not get any really we did not suffer really much at all and so the lord has been faithful but today we get this assassination attempt of trump which i said on the 15th the celestial bodies the 15th of july this month which is this coming monday we and notice that hurricane barrel came in exactly three months from the solar eclipse on april 8th so july 8th uh, hurricane barrel came through and if you saw my message about uh the significance the prophetic significance of the barrel stone okay and so this this uh storm is the storm of the lord and i had spoken before months before i think closer to january about how the lord uh the whirlwind of the lord was coming to bring exposure and to uh sweep out what was being hidden under the rug and so we're seeing this in in live action taking place and now we have the celestial bodies i said on the 15th were was in position to signify a possible um removing of a head of power um so there uh i it's crazy because i was looking at trump's uh celestial chart this morning and was going over how um how in his chart there is it reveals that there could be an assassination attempt on him and not even 12 hours later here we are that attempt has been made today on trump and whether you like him or not, God will do and use who he chooses to use. And he is using Trump to push back the Antichrist agenda and to allow there to be a window of time for the nation of Israel, biblically speaking, not the, not the counterfeit that they've created and, uh, presented to the world as Israel, but the nation of Israel, biblical Israel within the nation, scattered throughout the nation so that they can um, receive the inheritance of the Lord and build Goshen, okay? And as I was driving a few minutes ago, I saw a black car and the license plate said Onyx. 
And now onyx, the onyx stone was the stone on the breastplate of the priest of God that represented Joseph. And we know that the Josephs are rising. And so there's this climax taking place in the nation and in the globe. And the, the nations are rising up because they're trying to, it, it, it's, the, it's the clash of the titans, the war between the gods. And we know that the God of Israel will win. And so be praying for President Trump because whether you like him or not, if he does not take his seat as president, then we are screwed. And we're going to um, go full speed ahead into the one world order antichrist rule. But if Trump does get back into his position, which I believe he will, I believe it will most likely come through a civil war, um, but I believe he will take his seat back as uh, president of the United States in order for there to be a window of time for Joseph, the end time Joseph's to rise up and prepare Goshen's before uh, tribulation and the antichrist is revealed and takes his uh, power over the globe and over the kings of the earth. And the Lord was just reiterating to me today, he had me watch the movie Holes and I hadn't watched this movie since I was a kid, but as I watched it, now having the revelation of what I have now as far as um, what God is doing in these, these end times um, and doing for Israel and the remnant and the uh, releasing the inheritance of God in breaking the curse that has been over his people because of their disobedience and their uh, falling away to foreign gods. The time for the breaking of the curse in the movie holds. It's all about this family curse that came at, over the family and they struggled their entire life. And now uh, Stanley, I think is his name in the movie, he, uh, he gets sent to this camp to dig holes and he wasn't even supposed to be there. He didn't even do anything wrong, uh, but it was all for a purpose. It was all... Uh, planned by God. In the movie, he reaches the thumb of God, which is a mountain, um, the mountain of the thumb of God. And it was all for a purpose. And it was all divinely orchestrated by God to break the 100 year curse. And when that curse was broken, it was broken through him finding his inheritance, his hidden treasure. And the Lord said that um, 
that he's revealing and he's bringing forth the hidden treasure, both speaking of the wealth transfer, but also speaking of the remnant of God rising up as hidden treasures in the earth um, to, to manifest the glory of God and the will of God in these last days and to uh, be the raised standard against the, the wicked, against the Antichrist agenda and to prepare the people for the coming of the Lord. So